Is this metaphor the extent of your knowledge on air fuel sensors? A blind man is driving down two different roads. In the first one, he's alone and he hits back and forth on each side of the road until he gets down to his way. In the second one, he has someone in the car to help guide him, slowly straightening out until he's in the middle of the road. That's how I was taught O2 sensors and air fuel sensors. Now take that metaphor, crumple it up, and toss it in the trash. Hi, my name is Justin Peterson, and today we're going to be talking about Toyota air fuel sensors like the one in this 2007 Toyota Tundra. We will be going over sensor construction, operation, circuits, and also some diagnostics you can do on these sensors. Now I know what you're thinking, Justin, why are there black bars on the side of the screen? I don't know, but let's get right to it. The air fuel sensor, also known as a wide band, wider range, or wider ratio, is a new style sensor to ensure air fuel ratio is correct for proper operation of the cat. Although the Toyota air fuel sensor appears to be similar to the O2, as shown here, it is constructed with different materials and also has a very different operation. Toyota uses two types of air fuel sensors, the older cup element type, and the newer planner type which is used in all current Toyota models. The main difference between the two is that the planner type has an integrated heater element. Exhaust gases enter the sensor. The oxygen is then diffused through the zirconia oxide sensing element. Current is then generated in order to maintain an internal oxygen balance. The engine control module monitors this current it then converts it to voltage. A stoichiometric air fuel ratio results in no current flow and we get a reading of 3.3 volts. A lean condition will cause a positive current flow which will result in a higher voltage output. A rich condition will cause a negative current flow and result in a lower voltage output. A 0.4 volt differential is continuously applied across terminals AF positive and AF negative. AF positive would be at 3.3 volts and AF negative would be at 2.9 volts. The zirconia element is connected in series with these two terminals and this generates an electromotive force that determines the strength and direction of current for the air fuel sensor. When the air fuel ratio is at stoichiometric, this electromotive force is equal to about 0.4 volts. AF negative, which is 2.9 volts, plus this electromotive force, which is 0.4 volts, equals 3.3 volts, which is equal to AF positive. When they are equal to each other, there is no current flow, which is then interpreted as an air fuel ratio of being stoichiometric. When the vehicle is lean, this electromotive force drops in voltage, which causes positive current flow. When rich, this voltage goes up, which results in a negative current flow. Unfortunately, the air fuel sensor signal circuit cannot be tested with a DVOM. This is because the ECM calculates the voltage reading and it cannot be measured. Using TechStream is a very effective tool in diagnosing these systems. Otherwise, you can look at the parameter on other scan tools. Here you can see the voltage parameter of the air fuel sensor on a snap-on scan tool. As you can see, they stay right around 3.3 volts. You can perform an active test on the air fuel sensor by increasing and decreasing the fuel injection volume and looking at the air fuel sensor output. This test will tell you if it's responding quickly enough. There's an active test on the scan tool that will let you command the engine to run rich and lean. Here I run lean, and as you can see the voltage on both air fuel sensors increase. And now I commanded it to go rich, and as you can see, both the voltage values on the air fuel sensors went down. All the information in this video was provided by Toyota. Thank you for watching.